A myriad of ritual practices exist around the world, all in the name of culture. Some we've heard of, some we are yet to. Well, join me to the Apatani Plateau in northeastern India, where you can find women with startling nose plugs. I am Yaki, and you're watching Wonders of the World on Uchet TV. Enjoy. The women of Apatani tribe, due to their exceptional beauty, were captured by neighboring tribesmen in the past. To stop this from happening, the village elders proposed that each woman insert nose plugs and also have facial tattoos to make them less attractive to the raiders. Irrespective of the fact that the practice began as a precautionary measure to protect the women from abduction, it grew to become a vital part of a Patani culture and tradition. This age-long tradition was observed until the 1970s when the government imposed a ban on the nose plugs incisions. At present, only the last generation of older women from the Apatani villages have the prominent facial emblems, a reminder of a cultural practice that is now chronicled in the past. The featured photographs were taken by photographer and graphic designer Omar Reda, who comes from Lebanon and who has so far journeyed through a plethora of remote regions in the world, visiting tribal communities and documenting their lives through the lens of his camera. Besides the nose plugs, the women's faces were also embellished with dark tattoos, usually straight lines starting from the forehead and running all the way down to the chin. This practice too became a thing of the past when the government introduced the ban. The dark tattoos were inked on the women's faces when they were about 10 years old. The nose plaques are always positioned on the sides of the nose and they do not obstruct breathing. The younger generation is not keen on carrying on with the practice as it creates issues when people go out to the city for jobs. However, the elder women of the tribe consider the nose plugs and tattoos as an integral part of being a tiny woman. Ones who have the largest nose plugs have even been awarded. Over the years, this practice became a visual identification of being an Apatani woman. The remaining bearers of this practice appear to be proud of this identity. Both practices were deliberately designed to try and make the women's faces look less beautiful in the hope that nearby tribesmen would take one look and decide not to steal the Apatani women. In this captivating shot from filmmakers Matteo Vaghetti and Sarah Treviso, an Apatani elder, Bulodith, talks about how her culture has changed.
What do you think of this tradition? Share your thoughts in the comment section and please share the video as well. Kindly follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay updated with future episodes. Wonders of the World on Gitchet TV comes your way every Sunday. I hope to see you here next Sunday. Till then, bye.